I'm Heba Musa uh, from Tabdil Center for Cycling Urbanism, and now based in Cairo, but working in like on the level of Egyptian cities. Um, I thank you for the invitation. I'm a graduate of TU Berlin myself, so I was very happy to partake in this uh, event. Tabdil started as a collective, now turned company. Uh, we started in 2018, and we focus on design, research, and advocacy for cycling and walking mobility or uh, as we can say, human-powered mobility. Uh, our vision for the Egyptian cities to be built around the human needs, respecting the environment, and also to give the bike users the right of using the and shaping the street, not only using them. Uh, our mission is to inspire and mo mobilize the urban residents to interact with the changing mobility scene, which is changing very fast in Egypt, and now Tabdil has a multidisciplinary approach. We use art, technology, design, and knowledge production to deliver our projects. I'll give you an overview of uh, like uh, examples from our project. We work in different levels. So for the individuals uh, to increase the bicycle use, we have to work on personal perceptions of safety and to give incentives for cycling and turning points also to work on behavioral change. So, uh, for example, one of the projects we have done is called Better by Bike. Uh, in the beginning of COVID-19, we gave small incentives for people to uh, rent bicycles for longer term. Uh, it's like small grants, kind of. And uh, a lot of people applied for the projects. And now we have the news that they actually bought bikes after the grant was over. Another thing uh, to work with the individuals is the personal vehicle because most of the bicycles in Egypt are oriented towards recreation and sports. So we uh, are now, we launched our first cargo bike sharing in Egypt, which is more oriented towards cargo mobility and also for women to, uh, to have more space on the bike to get their uh, like mobility needs with, within the uh, existing gender norms. Um, for the socio-cultural uh, level, we work on the image of cycling, whether it's uh, seen as a recreational activity or as thing for men only. Uh, the photo uh, down there is from a, a workshop about gender and mobility in Upper Egypt, which is, is, which is a very conservative area in Egypt. We also work uh, with the students to... Um, uh, to see uh, how they perceive cycling, whether they see uh, moving to cars as, as an improvement in the future, so we can make sure these students will grow up with a positive uh, image of cycling. Another thing we work on as urban planners is a physical environment, so we uh, create proposals. Not only that we create proposals ourselves, we also um, uh, try to involve people to create the proposals for their cities, and then we advocate for them uh, with the government to be executed. This from uh, a mobility, um, uh, like a design workshop in Alexandria, and the students created actually a full plan for the Alexandria waterfront to be cycling friendly, and also created a virtual reality simulation so they can involve more residents in the discussion, even those who don't. Um, necessarily know how to cycle so they can get a sense of what is it like to cycle in the Cornish of Alexandria safely. Uh, finally, the final level is uh, in the policy and economic environment. As I said before, we do research and one of our researches uh, has led to a wider discussion at the government, especially the Housing and Building Research Center. And now we are part of the um, uh, writing of the Egyptian code, first code for cycling infrastructure. So hopefully in the next two years, uh, we will have uh, regulations of what to do when building cycling infrastructure um, beyond just painting and spraying uh, cycling icons in the streets. And finally, this is my final statement. And now you're frozen. <laughs> I think. Okay. Hello. <laughs> you you've been frozen. Your your last sentence. Welcome back. 
Uh, okay, thank you. <laughs> I don't know where did I stop, <laughs> but um, yeah. Anyway, uh, I hope you heard that. <laughs> yeah, the last part was that we uh, we were part of the code, uh, writing the code for uh, cycling infrastructure in Egypt. That is the very very first uh, regulation of what to do with the cycling infrastructure. Uh, and now this is my final statement. This is an imagination of how uh, car-free cities would look look like. We uh, drew this for uh, Car Free Cities Alliance, which is an alliance based in the Netherlands, but we are part of. And uh, that will also include the public transportation, cycling, and people using the space wisely and uh, enjoy their cities. Thank you. Thank you.